A lot of people believe that economic development is simply trying to get businesses to open up or expand within your area and that's it. But it's much more involved than that. There's, it it's, includes uh, a myriad of things that, uh, that most people don't understand and workforce development is a good example of that. Right now we do not have an adequate human capital, especially as pertains to green industries, to attract or to create new businesses. So if we, don't, if we don't have the right people, we have to grow them locally or import them from outside the area, and it's much easier to grow them locally, and the grant actually does that. The purpose of the Valley Legacy Grant is to bring our K-12, higher education, and workforce investment systems into alignment in order to better prepare our young people for careers in the high growth industry clusters in the Valley. Agribusiness, including food processing, biotechnology, renewable energy, water technology, manufacturing, supply chain management. What you will hear in this video is how we have used the Valley Legacy Grant to start 12 demonstration projects scattered all through the Valley in order to achieve four things. to articulate K-12 and higher education to help prepare our young people to fill the Valley's high demand occupations. To address English proficiency and digital literacy issues in our workforce. To ensure that our young people are prepared to compete for green workforce jobs, which have grown by 55% since 1995. And to establish a Valley network of entrepreneurship development programs focused on the target industry clusters. The overall goal of the sector-based articulation project is to develop pilot programs at three high schools across the valley. Each high school has two uh, career technology programs in high demand industries. One of the high schools had projects ready to go up and running, uh, started brand new programs that are underway this academic year. Uh, the other two high schools have been working on enhancing their existing programs and expanding those programs. The expansion will be next academic year. They're getting exposure to professionals that are coming into the class as guest speakers, are having opportunities to visit um, the industry sites to get a real first-hand experience of what is it like working in agribusiness? What is it like working in the distribution logistics management? One of the things that I'm most excited about, especially at Corcoran High School, is the fact that the teachers are doing a lot more projects with students and their hands-on kinds of activities that get students engaged in, in the process of their learning, get them excited about what they're doing, and um, it's a different way of teaching. They become basically self-learners. They are learning through investigation and through experiment and they are starting to discover things on their own about alternative energy sources. I've been exposed to much more information this year than I have in my previous years and the hands-on activities have been great. The field trips have exposed us to um, talking to professionals, seeing the concepts we learn in class into real life situations and it's been really beneficial. One aspect is the job shadowing that we do in class. Um, it gives us a great opportunity to connect with the community, let the kids go in and see real life, what's going on in the workforce, and we build some community ties with these individuals that may help kids get jobs later on down the road. A lot of our kids are excited about the field trips that we have with this class. It increases student engagement, and I've got kids in my other classes that are a bit jealous of this class because they get to go out and they get to go and um, see these different things. We've incorporated some drafting into this class to where the kids aren't just building the projects, but they're learning how to design. 
and this gives them real life experiences um, when they see me call the math teacher and ask them how to do certain problems so I can find out measurements on my tongue of my trailer. Um, they realize, wow, we do use this stuff in real life um, and it connects them to some of their other classes as well. So this is a really neat class and the, the kids are loving it. I found that the skills from welding and fabrication and just actual getting me able to have businesses and get uh, references from them, building resumes and things like that is just a big help with uh, getting ready for the real world. This deliverable is very unique because we're working on the systems within a school. We're helping the schools look at their data, analyze what's going on with their students, providing professional development to the teachers as to what are the best practices in reaching the needs of English language learners, providing leadership support, coaching for uh, the school leadership. We also have a project at each of the high school sites that engages the English learner students themselves in leadership programs so that they can become more active and more involved with their own education and their own learning plan. With the adult project, they have completely uh, revised the entire program for the English learners to be much more relevant and appropriate for the workforce in their community. The students have learned how to use the computer, they've learned how to fill out job applications, they've learned how to write uh, introductory uh, essay to go with their um, resume, and it's very directed to the workforce in their community. So they're leaving with very practical, um, not only experience and knowledge and language skills, but the tools that they need to, to enhance their careers or their, their employability in the workplace. One of the exciting things about this project is that we've engaged uh, a research team from Fresno State University School of Education to document the work in all of these projects, both for the sector-based articulation project as well as the English Learner Institute project. And the researchers are compiling the data following the work being done and will be publishing uh, a white paper and studies that will be relevant to the entire education community. The goal of the program is to train 150 community members from San Joaquin, Kern, and Tulare County. Students are taking pre and post tests when they come in to receive the digital literacy training. And when they're first taking their pre-test, many of them do not know how to even turn the computer on, aren't quite sure what the mouse is for, um, don't know Word or Excel, don't really understand how to set up an email account and don't have email accounts. By the end of the classes, they have set up email accounts, they're using their email accounts, many of them are accessing online banking, um, they're building resumes, they're looking for employment, and so the learning curve has just been really uh, phenomenal. Um, it, it's about an 80% increase of what the students are learning from beginning to end of the program. When a student comes into an entrepreneurship center, we assess where they are, what knowledge base that they have about starting an, a business and becoming an entrepreneur, and then we're going to put them through you know, the each stage of developing a business plan. And with those uh, deficiencies that they might have, they're going to be meeting with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, getting counseling, also attending workshops to get greater education of how it all is going to work and how they could actually start their own business. With Readly, they've already gone through a whole cohort and um, have developed an online business planning portal where their students can go through and, and do the business plan at their own pace as well as attend workshops to support developing their business plan. The clean energy industry in California is about ready to take off. What the Valley Legacy Grant hopes to do is marry those uh, opportunities with a workforce that uh, is can hit the ground running. All sorts of associations have uh, produced lots of uh, educational materials. We've come across a whole lot of them and we've uh, researched and found some of the best ones and then put them on a website. This website we hope will be kind of a forum where we can get job seekers, teachers, educators, and companies to go and see what we've been doing, what interests students, what interests teachers, what interests um, job seekers, and use it for kind of a clearinghouse of information. There are projects that can be done, there are 
you can build a mini uh, windmill that actually creates energy. There are solar panels that can be made. You can create your own solar hot water heater for your school. All we ask is that you possibly at the end of that quarter or semester, share that lesson plan with others because others were, are going to like it, they're going to want it. Uh, there are students out there who could benefit from that. I think it's important to remember that the goal of the California Partnership for the San Joaquin Valley is really to raise um, the profile of the San Joaquin Valley and to bring people together so that we can really make a difference in the valley. And that this program is an example of just how that can work. There are many different people from different sectors who are coming together to create change within communities and to help community members, adult and youth, to really be able to access all that should be available for them in the valley. We have some fantastic partners involved with this group. One of those partners is the Workforce Investment Boards from each of the counties. Uh, those boards have provided support, resources, contacts, helped with uh, the uh, enrollment process, helped us connect with industries. In one case in particular, actually put together the advisory committee for the high school and uh, has been just a phenomenal uh, partner in the whole project. It's, it's a magic thing um, when you involve some students with some community people who work in a field that students have shown some interest. And the change that you see in a young person when the light comes on and they understand what it's all about and they've found something that they have a passion about doing, it changes their entire life. It changes their, their uh, impression of their education, it changes their expectation of their future. To really see how the commitment and the dedication of our partners is fueling this phenomenal grant in the community, to see the, the children um, embrace this and to think about their future, not just in terms of what they learn about in a school, but what the opportunities are for them for a career, has really painted a face on this grant that goes beyond just what's on paper, but really is going to be an existing and valuable legacy for the people of this community. The key to success for the partnership is inclusion from the private sector, the public sector, the nonprofit sector. If you're not involved, get involved. The best way to do so is to go to the website, www.sjvpartnership.org, or go to Facebook and punch in SJV Partnership and get involved.